fixed yet. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbara lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. Go ahead, there's plenty of hot water. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, no, no. I met you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh... Thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I did was make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive over. All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito. You know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them?
Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here. Take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock she opens. Easy. See you around, Giuseppe. Say Benedict. Easy, huh? Don't Maybe worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Okay, you still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Possible Grand Theft Auto. Step on it. Roger that. Fuck, vehicle. that was close. Vehicle yeah, well, it's not over yet. It we'll see the suspect. Quick. Looks like we lost. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They... Provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs them. What can I do you for, pal? 
The license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. There you go. Gave her a cup. Thanks a lot. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. Who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Oyster Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines, so maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> uh, here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. Oh, here, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you know that? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft. You don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? Okay, now make a right here. All right, almost there. Make a right up here. That's Mike's junkyard there. Just drive through the gate. Look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know? Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same f Shit. Did I leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. All right, go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Go right up here. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh, shit. How the hell that happened? All the moolies flew south for the winter. 
Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You've only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Well, oh, by the way, you're carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Take a left up here. something one of these days I'm gonna buy a house here look at this guy ain't even back a day and he's too good for his old neighborhood hey what are you breaking my balls for I'm just window shopping it'll be years before I can afford a place like this <laughs> you got champagne tastes and beer pockets my friend don't worry though I'm gonna help you change that that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for your back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right. Just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. What you doing, motherfucker? Leave here without the car.
Hey, hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Mmm, nice. No stains. Clean. Where did the lowlife get the money for this? Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? 600. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe.